going on? Hey, look! Isn't that... The lab! The Lance of Kresnik is in there. Let's go. Back in Fenmont at last. All thanks to you and the others. Can you believe this is where we first met? That feels like forever ago. I suppose it does. This probably isn't something I need to say again, but... I know. There's no time for waxing sentimental. Right. Jude, is that your school? Yeah, it is. I mean, it was. I doubt they consider me a student anymore. What are spirits? You could say they're an invisible presence that permeates our entire world. You could say they're the font of spirit arts, feeding off the mana from human mana lobes. You could say they're the guiding hand that turns the wheel of all existence in Reza Maxia. In other words, the symbiotic relationship between human and spirit is at the core of every facet of our lives. But we don't know when this relationship began. How did humans and spirits relate before our modern spirit art culture? What was the world like then? Ah, it's hopeless. Once again, the sun is setting without any answers in sight. Uh, this is Fenmont? The sun never rises. Ever since Professor House disappeared, I've been up to my ears in work. Where did he go, anyway? And why would he disappear the day he won the Howe Prize? Something must have happened to him. Just between us, remember how the military came in and searched the school on the day the professor disappeared? When they went through his office, they confiscated every document of his they could find. So that investigation wasn't related to the warrant out for Jude? That was their official reason, but I wonder what their real objective was. First his reward was rescinded without explanation, then everything he ever worked on was confiscated. There's nothing normal about that. What was the professor even working on? I heard he was researching a theory that involved using spirits without providing them any mana. Is that even possible? Apparently he'd had some success, but I wouldn't get too interested if I were you. 
If you stick your nose too far into it, you might disappear too. Come on, don't say things like that. So that means Professor House was researching something similar to the Lance of Kresnik. Are you okay? Mr. Eldon? Doc. Dr. Jude? Lie still. You're hurt pretty badly. Uh, listen to me, Doc. She tricked us. One of the researchers was actually an Ajul spy. When I tried to arrest her, she blew up the entire testing chamber. We'll carry the wounded to the hospital. Come with me. Sounds like Gaius is making his move. We can't waste any more time. Doesn't sound like knocking will get us in. The Lance of Kresnik is just beyond this door. There's got to be another way in. Let's look for it. Anything. I'm sorry. Isn't she? It's the mayor! Hang in there! The mayor of Hamil? They did say that the Rashigal army invaded the village. Ah, all the villagers froze and solid. No! No! Hey, come back to us. Don't give up. <laughs> Professor House all over again. The villagers were frozen solid? What could that mean? Is this what Gaius's henchwoman meant when she said the power of a great spirit? This woman was knocking on death's door. She might have been delusional. Either way, this is unforgivable. I wonder if it'll work the same.
Are you thinking about the mayor? <laughs> I understand how you feel. My teacher at school was killed by that same awful machine. It's not that. It's that I'm not actually sad at all. Is Elise a heartless monster? Elise... Do you think she got what she deserved? Of course not! The mayor suffered horribly! What happened was so awful! Would a heartless monster get so mad about what happened to the mayor? Would she shed tears over it? No, I guess not. We have to destroy that stupid lance! Can this contraption help us? It might let us look in on the lance. Here's the video feed. That's remarkable, Jude. There's nothing there. Huh? The lance of Kresnik is gone. Did that explosion destroy it? Surely it would leave some wreckage behind. Perhaps the lance was moved before the explosion occurred. That's the only logical explanation. But move to where? Mila, look! I found a recording of what happened. Is that the spy Mr. Eldon talked about? That girl. She's the one from our last visit. You're right. She was the one that attacked us. Hey, what she got there? It looks like someone discovered her ruse, so she detonated a bomb. But isn't she a Najul spy? If I were in her shoes, I wouldn't risk my life like that even if my cover was blown. In the game of espionage, a dead body can still provide valuable intel. Then how about this? Maybe she planned to blow up the lance all along, and Mr. Eldon finding her was just a coincidence. If Jude's theory is true, then it's likely that the girl didn't know the lance had left the facility. That means she's now either on her way to the location where the lance was taken, or trying to find out where that location is. In either case, we might find out something if we can catch her. According to the timestamp on the video, the explosion only happened half an hour ago. Then she's probably still in the city. We need to find that girl. You went to medical school here, didn't you? Uh, young students burning with passion, living their dreams. I bet you miss those days. Not really. We studied and trained all day every day. I never did anything particularly memorable. <laughs> Lame. That is so you. Even those days of toil will one day be treasures to you. I would have liked to have gone to school myself. You should have. Maybe you'd have learned how to behave like a normal person. Did you go to school, Leia? Sure did! I was the class vice president! Ah, uh, then going to school doesn't seem to help with behavior at all. <laughs> you might be right about that. <laughs> hey, wait a minute! There she is, the girl in red. I know you! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> I finally get to finish you off! And it's not even my birthday. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your little psychotic episode, but we really need to ask you something. <laughs> Why would I answer you, Claudes? Wait, I have seen you before. Is it possible? Are you Lady Nadia of House Travis? Huh? I seem to be correct. But what would compel an heiress of one of the six ruling houses to spy for Ajul? I don't know anything about that stinking house. I'm Agria the Shadowless of the Chimeriad. The Chimeriad again? So you're working for Gaius. What's it to you? You tried to destroy the Lance of Kresnik. Well, duh. <laughs> we want to destroy it too. That makes us allies. If you know where the lance was taken, tell us. 
<laughs> like I tell you anything. Please, you want to destroy it for the same reason we do, right? Because it's dangerous? You reek. <laughs> oh, I've got an idea. Before I destroy the lands, I'll use it to blast Rashigul to itty bitty bits. <laughs> what is your problem? We're working our butts off to save the world, and you think it's funny to stand in our way? <laughs> you really do stink. What are you, five? You think you can fill the world with rainbows and kittens just by working hard? <laughs> that sweet reek of yours is giving me brain decay. What's your beef with hard work? Zip it, you little pimple, or I'll pop you. Uh, excuse me? I still remember the agony you caused me that day. This girl is making my head hurt. No fear. <laughs> you seriously stink. What the hell? Stand in our way and we'll be forced to cut you down. Whatever. It's time we got rid of the damn stink around here. Onward. <laughs> <laughs> Get him! 
I should warn you, I'm still not used to the sensation of sweating during exertion. Couple that with my somewhat clumsy sword grip, and well, you might consider being a little more cooperative. Where is the lance? Hm. A secret passageway runs under the laboratory. It connects to Orta Palace. And that is? That's the palace Noctigal rules from. I've never heard of this passageway. Is it still usable? Only if you're a worm. It's caved in now. So we can't use it. Hey, get back here! Maxwell, one of these days, I'm going to rip that pretty face of yours to pieces! And you, pimple! Listen up! Work, 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 as hard as that scrawny body of yours can handle, and you'll still wind up with only two things. Jack and squat! Why do you say stuff like that? That girl has serious issues. Orta Palace, the enemy stronghold. We should be careful. I know. Let's check things out first. Why did that Agria girl say such awful things to me? Is that wretched little urchin actually nobility? Yes, I do believe that she is the scion of the Travis family. The Travis estate was destroyed by arson a few years ago. Most of the Travises died in the blaze. She lost her whole family? No wonder she turned out that way. How interesting. You can sympathize with someone you despised mere seconds ago. Yeah, I guess that's the kind of thing Agria would say reeks of naivete. Perhaps she would. But I find it to be a kind and gentle smell. I agree. Oh dear. Perhaps we're starting to smell a bit cheesy ourselves. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. security would be tighter than this. I don't suppose we could just charge inside. That wouldn't be prudent. This is their stronghold. Rowan? What's the matter? I was just weighing options. I think Jude might have the right idea here. Whoa, hey now, are you serious? For once, Mila is telling us to be cautious and not charge in. Do you have a plan? More of a hunch, actually. Shall we test it? If it's good enough for Rowan, count me in. Stop right there! Squawker! 
Any reinforcements? Looks clear. But this is the king's house. Shouldn't he have more soldiers? It could be a trap. No doubt the Rashagal army has already been deployed for war with Ajul. But wouldn't they tighten security around the royal palace in wartime? Except for the natural and man-made barriers that protect Fenmont in the north and south, it has few defenses in the event of a siege. If the enemy army breaches its walls, the city is as good as fallen. Troops are wasted here in wartime, so the majority of them are deployed to fortify the naval defenses in Fort Gondala. That makes sense. But it also means war is imminent. We can't waste this opportunity. Indeed. This is a lotus ring, a device that ferries people throughout Order Palace. We must use it to proceed further. All aboard? Wow! Order Palace is huge! And it's so sparkly and pretty! I've never seen anything like it! The entirety of Orta Palace was made out of a single lumen tree. They channeled spirits to grow it into the shape of this giant palace in just five years. This is a single tree? Wow, their spirit arts are incredible! Oh, you guys actually believe me? N no not at all! We just thought it sounded true! Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> 